Hey everyone, welcome back into Family Porties. Thanks for tuning in again. Hanging out with the puppies here from Addie's Litter. I know everyone on the list has been super excited to see these puppies here and me doing an update here for you um, to get those litter picks in. So we're really coming up here on about five weeks um, or about six weeks actually at this point. We're shooting here about five weeks and then uh, by the time the video is posted and everything here, it'll be a couple days. So. Um, these guys doing very well, coming along great. Um, everyone's doing great. Here, you'll see five puppies here. Um, we kind of got them split up in two different groups just to kind of keep, keep everything uh, straight and making sure everything's good. Um, we got three boys here and then two girls. So uh, these pups here, they were born on um, the 18th, actually the 16th of February, and they'll be ready to go home on April um, the 12th yeah just making sure i got my date straight um and they're coming along great doing very well on socialization doing great as far as just from a developmental standpoint uh coming along very well so you can kind of see how they interact how they're coming along um just to kind of keep up with them so today we're going to be talking about their personalities their size uh kind of their temperament just to kind of give you a good feel uh for each one so i'm going to be going through talking about each puppy here uh, talking about each one in general, um, starting off with Mr. Axel here. He is the white boy out of the group. Um, he's got the majority of his coloration is white. And then you got the chocolate coming through here, kind of on the tail. Um, he's got a little bit of chocolate on the side here and chocolate on the ears. So a very unique look. And for Mr. Axel here, here he's just a very laid back, chilled out guy, um, more lower drive lower temperament he loves his people he's more velcro he'll just want to kind of chill out take it easy you can see him just flopping down he's completely content here uh, just taking it easy so one thing i really like about him he's got these little tufts of white coming through on his ears on both sides so over here you'll see a little bit more uh, kind of coming through and it kind of gives a, a little bit of a unique flavor for you here um, for Mr. Axel. So he's doing very well, coming along great, um, wonderful personality, and just overall, in general, just a phenomenal guy. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. I want to say hi. No? Okay. You're not next. <laughs> but moving on to boy number two, I believe this is Archie. I just want to make sure. Yeah, so we got Mr. Archie. He's got the darkest coat out of the boys. So he's got a very dark, um, kind of a heavy chocolate coming through, um, which I really like seeing. You got the white socks in the back and then kind of got those tippy toes covered here in the front on the left. And then the underside of his paw is white as well. Um, you got a little bit of a tuxedo up front um, here in the middle and a little white spot on his chin. Uh, so kind of dipping his face into, into a bowl of milk and you'll get that. So a uh, phenomenal guy here. I'd say he's middle of the group. He's not really the most outgoing, not the most active, very, very people oriented. So he'll want to hang out with you directly. He'll kind of want to take it easy. Um, we got Mr. Axel making his way back into my lap here. Uh, like I said, he's Velcro. I'd say those, these two boys compare very well. If anything, uh, Mr. Archie is just a little bit more confident and a little bit more outgoing, like uh, in general. So he'd have a little bit of a higher um, energy drive. So um, that's Archie for you. Moving on, we got one of the girls here, I believe. Let's see who we got here. And this is Ava. So Miss Ava here, out of the whole litter, she has the darkest coat. So you can almost like it, it almost comes across as a, a black or a very dark. You can kind of see, I'll let her wander around here um, and you can kind of see, um, but her coat's very dark, um, very, very kind of a, a thicker, uh, heavier coat, I guess you could say. And I, I absolutely love it. It's kind of unique here. Um, sometimes you'll see a very light coloration. So this guy right here, let me see here if you can get a good comparison between the two. So definitely a difference there in coloration. Um, now she is one of the more outgoing ones, one of the more playful ones. Um, super sweet here. I mean, she's flipping back. She's pretty relaxed right now but she is one of the more outgoing ones and very confident, um, a little bit more active, um, but I mean, super sweet. You'll see her kind of 
wander around here and and have a have a good time <laughs> you little buddy this is the most active and outgoing girl here um and her name is miss arabella so she is the outgoing one the confident one she kind of gets the party going she's kind of got everything going for her. Uh, more active she is very interactive with her litter mate she's not a dominant one by any means she'll just kind of include everyone She'll kind of hang out with everyone and and she she is super confident you can see her tail wag and she's just all over the place she loves her people loves interaction in general and i mean she she's a phenomenal little girl she she kind of has a nice playful side to her okay guys last but not least here in this group what's up buddy hello um last but not least in this video here in this portion of the video um we got mr atlas so Atlas here, very sweet guy. Um, I'd say he is the most active out of the, the boys um, from an activity standpoint. Now, all the boys seem to be a little bit more chilled out, a little bit lower drive in general. It's just kind of how it worked out here uh, with this litter. So they're, they're not gonna be couch potatoes by any means. They're not gonna you know, have trouble you know, finding something to do. They're just a little bit lower drive. Uh, check out this little guy. He, he found his, his unicorn. <laughs> but super sweet little guy here and his coloration i'd say just very normal um kind of a nice chocolate wavy coloration what's up buddy uh, we got mr axel here just he's still stuck in my lap so uh but phenomenal little guy here you got the white socks in the back white tippy toes covered up front and then you got uh the nice tuxedo up front along with the white chin so phenomenal little guy here I'll let him kind of sit around. Um, now, like I said, I mean, the guys all kind of have a little bit of a lower drive, um, but it's not like they're lacking in energy. It's just kind of more of a content. Uh, what, you want all the attention? You want everything? Yeah, you do. <laughs> this little guy just wants to be held. That's all you want. And you too. You too. We got room for everyone. Yeah, we got room for everyone. See, that'll just calm him down. You just want every single piece of attention. But yeah, we'll move on to the four girls here next. Um, like I said, there's three girls, or three boys, and then uh, we have six girls. Okay, moving on to the four girls here. Um, they were actually taking a nap back here, and yeah, they, they're still pretty chilled out. We got one waking up here, over here just having a good time, and then the others are still trying to figure out what happened and why they're awake at this point. Um, so phenomenal pups here. Again, we have four girls uh, here in this portion. We had two in the other portion of it. Um, so I'm trying to figure out, there we go. Trying to figure out, figure out who everyone is. Um, so right here we have Astra. Um, Astra here, she has um, the lightest coat in the litter. So if there's um, any one of them that has more of a pearlescent, kind of a light chocolate coat coming through. It's her, um, you kind of see it over the side here and then definitely kind of on the ears. I don't know if you can see that, but on the ears, they definitely have, like it's kind of a, uh, a light, almost golden color. So phenomenal look. I think I pointed it out in the last video we did. Um, she's got a nice white tuxedo, white socks in the back. And I'm just gonna set her down. She's one of the more laid back ones out of the girls. I'd say she's the most laid back girl. Um, very, very people oriented. She'll wanna hang out with you. Um, she'll wanna take it easy, um, but just a little bit more hesitant, a little bit more wanting to sit and check things out and take everything in uh, before diving right into it. So super sweet girl there for Astra. We'll keep on rolling here. Um, what's up, really? What's up? Hello. Hello, and this one right here is Aurora. So Aurora here, um, she's kind of got pretty much a 50-50 split with white and chocolate. So you got quite a bit of chocolate. What, you wanna be held? Come here, I got you, I got you. There we go. Yeah, you good now? There you go. Um, so quite a bit of chocolate coming through um, here on the back. And, oh, you too, oh, you too, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, there we go. Are we good now? All tucked in? Okay, there we go. 
Uh, so quite a bit of chocolate coming through on the back and then on the head as well, uh, around the ears. And then she's kind of got that blaze coming through um, in between her eyes. And then her belly and the majority of her bottom side is white. So uh, kind of a nice split there for you. And she is a sweet girl. I'd say medium on drive. She, you know, she's up for pretty much anything. She'll have a good time. She'll also sit and chill too. Like, so she'll low on her people. She'll take it easy, but she also has a very nice, uh, confident, outgoing uh, personality as well. Um, so very, very sweet girl here. Um, again, that's Aurora. And then we have two more to talk about. What's up, girly? Hello. And you're my favorite. As far as looks, this is, this is my bread and butter. I personally absolutely love, I'm a sucker uh, for this look. Uh, her name's Asha. And I just absolutely love the primarily like chocolate coat. Here, I got you, you're falling off. You're falling off, there we go. I love the primary chocolate coat with a nice amount of white, like white socks in the front, white socks in the back, beautiful white tuxedo up front. So beautiful girl here. And she's very, very similar to Aurora. Um, as far as, oh, you like my mic. You like my mic. Yeah. <laughs> um, so very similar to Aurora. Um, if anything, she has a little bit more of a higher drive. Like you can kind of see a little bit more of a higher energy, a little bit higher interactivity. Um, so very outgoing, but she's still super confident, super sweet. She'll climb right up on my lap and she's right here with everyone else. I'm kind of getting a kick out of you guys. Yeah. I'm getting a kick out of you. Mm -hmm. But they're all doing so well, doing very, very well. Super sweet pups. Come here, girly. There you are. Yeah, we didn't want to forget about you. Um, I believe this is Arya. Yeah, so Arya here, she has a very similar look uh, comparing to uh, Miss Asha. Um, as far as like her, her looks in general, but she has a little bit more white. So a little bit more white wrapping around the back here, some white spotting on the side, uh, kind of coming through and then a white blaze in between her eyes. Underside is pretty much white. Um, and overall just a nice white tip tail here. Wonderful put together coloration here uh, for her. And I'd say she's one of the more outgoing ones in the litter. Uh, one of the, I'd say like medium to, like a medium to a higher drive. If anything, you know, maybe leaning a little bit heavier towards that higher drive. Now, phenomenal puppy, more ex like she's kind of got uh, the exploration part of it down pat. She's always trying to check out new things, wandering around, checking everything out. What's up girly? Hello. Yeah. Um, checking everything out, kind of taking everything in, um, and she, she'll grab a toy, she'll take it to, you know, a, a corner in the room and just hang out and take it easy. So uh, that's one thing I've kind of noticed about her. Uh, phenomenal litter here in general. I, I don't know what you guys what you guys think about the litter in general, but I've been absolutely enjoying these pups. Uh, they're phenomenal, they're doing very well. They're very people-oriented, very driven towards people on, on the people-pleasing level. Um, which is one thing I've really noticed and they don't mind showing off their voice, but in all, uh, in general, like if you're comparing, um, they're, they're pretty quiet. Um, they, they, you know, they'll, they'll whimper a little bit here and there, like they'll cry a little bit and, um, but in general, they're more on the quiet side. I know I've done some videos here, um, where, you know, I can barely hear myself talking where, you know, puppies are going to be super vocal. These guys are pretty content pretty relaxed in general. Now when I say higher drive for these guys, I don't feel like they'll be in comparison with the breed. I don't feel like they'll, they're going to be super high drive uh, necessarily with Addy and Porter being a little bit lower energy. Um, Porter is kind of right in that happy medium and then Addy is a little bit lower energy. So you kind of get uh, a little bit more of a lower, more content puppy uh, being super, super confident if you kind of mix in uh, the two, the two personalities. So again, these guys are doing very well here at five and a half weeks. If anyone has any questions for me about this litter or questions about availability, feel free to reach out to me. Again, my name is Jay Miller here at Family Porties. My number is 330-621-3917. Feel free to shoot me a call or text anytime and thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and see you next time.